Hello everyone. I just wanted to stop in. Uh, I wanted to talk a little bit about why our lips swell after treatment. Many people are showing me photos of big swollen lips. They're concerned. They want to know if this is a cause to go to the doctor or the hospital, if it's treatable, if it's going to go down, is it an infection, is it swelling? We have to look at the different reasons of why the lip swells and here's a few things that I can think of. Swelling can happen if you are using a low quality pen. So far, every single person that has written to me about a broken pen or a malfunctioning pen or the pressure being off or too much bruising, they seem to have a low quality uh, affecting the pressure because I've actually held the, both devices in my hand with mine and the other and I cannot tell the difference. So even though the devices look the same, there is a difference in the function and the pressure of the pen. Also, their pens seem to be uh, breaking. So that's another thing. The handle breaks midway and that can be a real big problem. We don't want that happening when you're mid-session, especially if you don't have an extra pen. I always have an extra pen on hand. You never know. Uh, even with my supplies, you know, sometimes there's manufacturer default. It could happen. I'm not saying that it's impossible. But in general, if you're having a lot of bruising, that's usually due to the low quality of pen. A second reason is lack of training. It can cause swollen lips because the pressure is not being adjusted properly. You really have to understand the pressure of the pen, which is why I recommend basic training. It's really important to understand when you put the product into the ampoule, the pressure to create with the pen, and each injection, it must be repressurized for the next. So this is something you need to know. It's very important. And if you don't know it and your pressure is too high and you're shooting in too much product, the one shot, you can be hurting the cells under the skin, causing a lot of swelling. Another reason is because you have to ice after the treatment's done. So as soon as you're done, treatment should last about 30 minutes max, because after 20, 30 minutes of injection in the lips, they begin to swell. If you don't ice them immediately, the swelling gets out of hand and then it's too late and your client will be stuck with baboon lips for the next two days. And most people don't appreciate that. They have things to do. We all live busy lives. So please, it's really important. When you're done, your session, ice the lips. It's absolutely necessary. You have to. Another reason is, like I said before, people don't adjust the pen properly. So another reason of swelling is too much product injected in one shot and it creates inflammation. So that's kind of shocking to the dermis under the skin. You want to go slowly. I usually work with a 0.01 to a 0.03 max. Doesn't matter where I'm doing in the face. Flat surfaces, I never go over a 0.01. Uh, lips, never over a 0.03. That's just my rule of thumb. I find the product goes in much smoother, no lumps, uh, minimal swelling. The swelling mostly happens in the lips. You might get a little swollen when you're doing your cheeks or other areas, but the swelling does not appear uh, to be visual. It uh, really is just a little sensitive, but there's no swelling. It's the lips that really swell up a lot. Another reason you might swell is infection. People using unsanitary workspaces, uh, not wearing gloves, cross-contamination, mixing up things, sharing on pools, different reasons you can have an infection. If the proper product is not being used, please make sure you are buying an injectable and not a serum that goes on top of the skin. I see that a lot. People think they're getting a great deal on their filler. Meanwhile, it's really not filler. It's meant for moisturizing the top layer of your skin on top surface. And then you have the injectable hyaluronic acid, which is injectable with needle method through a hyaluron device, but it's meant to be injected. Please make sure of that because if you inject the wrong product in the skin, you can have effects from that. That could be a negative experience for your client and we don't want that happening. The infection and the sanitary part, the hygiene comes in with your basic training. This is something you should learn. It's very important on how to keep the surface clean and sterile while you're working, not cross-contaminating anything. You are uh, puncturing the skin, so you, you do have a microscopic hole that the pressure causes in order to get the injection in, the product into the skin. Lack of training 
uh, will also be lack of knowledge when it comes to the hygiene part of the process. That's very important. Please note all ampoules are disposable. Do not reuse the ampoules. They can be filled in each session, but it cannot be reused. When the session is done, you throw it in the garbage. Another reason you might swell is that there's no aftercare taken. So I usually recommend for the people to go home and continue icing throughout the night for 10 minutes here and there. Every time they start to feel a little warm or swelling, tightness, uh, I tell them to re-ice it for a few minutes throughout the night. And last but not least, reason for swelling, which will cause infection, is dirty hands. Please wash your hands even before you're wearing gloves. Even if you're wearing gloves, you want to wash your hands first, then put the gloves on because we just want to keep the area as clean as possible. I hope that answered a few questions on why you swell and I hope it helped you out. Thank you so much for following and please don't forget to subscribe. Have a great day, guys.